Hey everyone, so today I am filming a review, testing, not really sure what you want to call it, video on the Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette. I also have ordered the Mini Controversy, it just hasn't arrived yet because I ordered it off Jeffree Star Cosmetics, whereas this was from Beauty Bay. So, um, I wasn't able to get them both on Beauty Bay, so that's why. So this is actually my second intro that I'm filming. So I originally filmed an intro that I didn't have any of the makeup on, and in that intro I said that I was going to be doing three looks, one on this eye, one on this eye, um, and then a third one that's more neutral and everyday. Um, I did the one on my right eye, which is the like look that I've got on right now, um, but it took a while, my camera died, my SD card just gave up because it ran out of storage, so I decided it was best just to do one look in today's video and then in like the near future I will do a couple more looks. If you hear me referencing that I'm going to be doing another look or um, anything like that, um, that's because originally that was my plan until I did the one eye, realised that this is going to be too long as well to do three looks in one. Um, so it's just gonna be this one look so i hope that's okay so now you're gonna go to me with no makeup on my eyes um swatching this i have opened it and i have looked at it i feel like i opened that the awkward way around when and yes i didn't just look in the viewfinder but i should have opened it the other way but it's fine the beauty um yeah, it is beautiful. I've opened it, I've looked at it, I've taken pictures of it, I've put it on Instagram, but I haven't touched it yet. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna try very hard not to look at the viewfinder because it's a new camera. Okay, it looks like even more pretty on camera. <laughs> it is actually stunning. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when they did reveal it and they and I actually have seen another person say this, I can't think who it was, but there was, I'm sure there was a video I was watching, and someone said that when it was revealed, they weren't really sure how they felt about it, and I was the same. I was so excited for the palette, and I really wanted the palette, but I wasn't necessarily extremely excited for all the colours and everything in the palette. But now I've got it, you can just see the, like, effort that's gone into it, you know? I'm going to do a close-up. I'm really sorry, I'm really sniffly, but <laughs> let's do a close-up. As you can see... It is stunning. The mo the colour I'm probably most excited for, honestly, is just a theory because it's just like a colour I love. Lighting may change, it's literally. When I say it's good that it's quarter to two in the afternoon. Um and it's already getting really dark. <laughs> like it's so grey outside, it's insane. Back onto the palette, I am going to swatch each colour. I'm thinking I may just do it on my hand. I know all like beauty gurus or whatever, they do it on their arm. But uh, I'm in a cozy hoodie and I don't really want to put it on my arm. So I think I'm just going to do six on my hand, show you, six, show you, six, show you. I don't have any makeup wipes, that's fun. Hey, I don't want to touch it. Anyone else getting that? Don't want to touch it? Just me? So first I'm going to... I don't want to touch them. How is everyone I've seen make this video? I've looked and they've been like, oh, let me just go into this shade, let me just go into this shade. I'm like... But it's too precious, like how can you be touching it? You know, like I get that's what it's meant for, but like I don't want to touch it. So, I think we just have to go for it. Oh my God, okay, can I just remember, this is the first time I've ever used Jeffree Star um, eyeshadows. Oh yeah, <laughs> that'd make life easier. <laughs> wow. Bearing in mind, I probably didn't even go too, like, hard into the pan because I don't want to touch it. I don't want to ruin the, the like, thingy. Because, like, you can see it's there, but you still feel like it's disappearing. Okay, so I'm going to do the top six. I'm going to show you each one, and then I'm going to show you close up. This is very bad swatching. I started too far over, so now it's, like, all the way around. Okay, so from... Oh, no, I don't know if this is left to right when you're watching this. From this side... <laughs> We've got Ranch, My Pills, Tanacon, Diet Root Beer, Just The Theory, and Spiralin. Just The Theory is definitely my favourite. These are beautiful. So the next row is, so from my pinky side, I don't know if that's the left or right for you when you're watching it. You've got Conspiracy, Pigment, Food Videos, Trisha, 
cheese dust and flaming hot around the corner there. Insane. So you've got what's the tea? Diet cola, not a fact, sleep paralysis, Illuminati, and my rides here. Honestly, Diet Cola is insane. <laughs> I'm gonna use basically that row. I'm gonna use, I wanna try and get like a bit of not a fact, flaming hot, cheese dust, food videos, pigment, those all like the red, purpley, yellowy, all that style. But I'm I'll kind of I think I'm gonna leave it matte. I mean a little bit. Should we zoom in like that? Is that cool? Are we okay? Are we too close? Are we good? Okay, so I've got me handy dandy little Jeffree Star mirror. Because when I bought the conspiracy palette, I bought a mirror and a liquid lipstick set, which I'm gonna do a lip swatch video on. Maybe we'll start with pigment, because I wanna go pink. Yeah, we'll start with pigment. Okay. I'm using my Zoeva Lux Soft Crease Brush, and I'm gonna go into pigment. One thing I will say, which I'm gonna be the hundredth person to say this, because everyone sort of said it, is there's a lot of, what is it, like fallout in the pan? Is that what you'd say? Um, so like when you're dipping into it, there's a lot of like, you know. I've never used, um, Jeffree Star so I'm just gonna see how this goes. I've literally just dipped in a little bit. Can you see me? Yeah, you can. But yeah, I've got an idea of what I want to do. So I'm currently just putting pigment all in my crease. I'm trying to like be careful and not use too much at once because I don't want to get a lot of fallout. I'm now going to take maybe a bit of this, a bit of the Zoeva Lux, is it Lux? Luxy? Lux, isn't it Lux? Lux Petite Crease. I am actually going to be going back into pigment after. Um, I just want to get a really nice dark colour in the crease. Um, I'm going to use Not A Fact, which is a nice deep purple. I want to be careful because I don't want to use too much, but I want it in the crease to make the crease nice and dark. Okay, now with that same brush, I'm going to go into my rides here, just to try and darken it a little bit more. Whoa! This may be extreme because I've just put so much black on my brush. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good, not too much, because I managed to just tap a load off. Okay, now that's still quite dark. I didn't quite want that much darkness. Okay, I'm going to put this brush down, and I'm going to go back into my pigment brush and start blending all this together now this may look crap right now and I'm really hoping it doesn't look crap at the end I'm really hoping it like all comes together because right now it looks shite let's take my MAC 217 brush which I really want some more of these because I do love them and go back into not a fact to try and do that black just was a bit too much for my liking I didn't mean to put that much on I picked a bit too much up and try and blend it into the pink a bit more. I do know that from watching like Soph does nails that she did say that these because these a lot of them are pressed pigments, um, they do work better on a non-set base. Um, I have a set base, so I don't really care in a sense of. Um, most time when I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to have a set base because I do my foundation. So I just figured, let's just go for it on that because most people like to set their, their eyeshadow. So, like, like to set the base of their eyeshadow. So I just felt like leaving it as is. I did also forget, but I was planning on leaving it as is anyway, if you know what I mean. So I'm just doing like a big load of job of blending right now. Mm. 
Like from a distance it looks cool, you know? I'm just going to take my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush with my pills Oh that was too much And just try and blend the top of this a little bit Yeah I do genuinely feel that I shouldn't have set My base You know If I like zoom in for you right Oh boy <laughs> Like, like this bit here, but with what I'm planning on doing, I'm hoping, like I just don't feel like it looks too great. It looks like a bit like a hot mess right now. I'm hoping that once I'm like getting there, once I like get to the end result, it won't be as much of a hot mess as this. Is what my goal is, because right now I feel like that's what it is. It's um, I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques accent brush to cut my crease <laughs> because I can't find any other brushes. Um, so we're just gonna do that, and I bet you I find one after in a bit. But for right this moment, I cannot. So we are just gonna stick to this because it's nice and flat. Oh well. I'm also rubbish at this, by the way. <laughs> I'd just like to add. What I'm then going to use is I'm going to go in with food videos in basically, like, I'd say like a third, I think I'm going to do it as. Can't find a brush first. Don't want to use more like a packy brush, probably, yeah. It has quite a good, like, packing on brush style. So, I'm going to use a few videos. I said that weird. Food videos. On the. Why does my eye burn? My eye's burning. I use that concealer daily. Why is my eye burning? This cut crease is crazy. As the colours on, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna just. I feel like when there's colour on it, we're just gonna be able to ignore the crease of the cut crease. Like, is that bright enough? My eye burns, I don't know why. It's great. It only, it's not from the eyeshadow, it's definitely from the mascara. I mean, what? It's definitely from the, the concealer, which I use every day, so I don't know why. Um, I'm then gonna go in to Cheese Dust for the orange. And I'm gonna put that next door I do actually want food videos to be brighter it may be the concealer that I used so it's, it maybe it doesn't love the concealer that I used Now I'm going to go in with another brush, like a packing on brush, with Flaming Hot to try and fix this monstrosity of a look. It's makeup, do what you want with it, innit? Okay. I don't know if it's my brushes, you know. Because that ain't even coming on, off onto my hand very well.
Okay, I don't know what I'm having an issue, but I can't get this red to go on, like, at all. I, like, flaming hot, I'm really struggling with. It does actually look pretty good on camera though. Just need to do some blending. I've definitely got fallout under my eye, which you can definitely see, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna try and blend these together a bit now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my Luxe pencil brush with the yellow, which I don't really feel like I need to do this too much because the yellow's already underneath my eye. And then I'm just gonna like tap as much off as I can. Go in with the orange. And then go in with the red. And then I'm just gonna take, I might actually even take my fit, my pinky and use ranch and just put that on my inner corner. There we go. Ranch and put it on my brow bone as well. I'm trying to be quite light handed with it. Well, light handed but also not light handed at all. Okay. That's cool. So I'm just going to put some mascara on and then I will be back. So I went ahead and did the other eye off camera because the camera had to charge because it died. And at the same time the memory card also ran out of storage. So it all sort of happened. So I went, so I did this eye off camera and this is the final look. It's not amazing, it's not like that great but it's something different, it's fun. Um, yeah, I definitely like it though. So my overall review of the palette is, it's just beautiful. Um, the only downfall to the palette is it has a lot of kickback in the pan. It's not an issue, it's like, but that's a thing, like, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, just as an overall, the shades I used in today's look was Ranch, My Pills, Pigment, Food Videos, Cheese Dust, Flaming Hot, and not a fact and my rides here so i used one two three four five six seven eight two yeah so i used eight shades out of the 18 shade palette so i am planning on doing a, another video doing a more deeper more, not as bright and more like bluey greeny kind of look and I also want to do a look doing like in the more everyday style look I was going to do all three in this video like I said at the beginning of the video <laughs> but it, I think this just will work better anyway that's my overall view on the palette one thing I will say if you're going to use your hands to apply any of the shades which I did for like the rainbowy colours that does happen <laughs> I wanted to use a brush and I started using the brush on this eye when you saw me doing it and I did also then go in and use my fingers. When I did this eye I pretty much went straight in with just my fingers because I just, I don't know, I just found it, packed it on, made it brighter, quicker and I have quite a few brushes but I don't have many I feel like good packing on colour brushes. Um, a lot of mine are more fluffy, so that just kind of worked better for me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, um, comment if any ideas. Um, but yeah, that is basically my review on this beauty of a palette. I will be sure to do some more looks with this, and I'm also want to use the mini controversy when I receive it. Um, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, um, comment if any ideas um but yeah that is basically my review on this beauty of a palette i will be sure to do some more looks with this and i'm also want to use the mini controversy when i receive it um but yeah 
I will see you in my next video. Bye!